today we're going to use the shape of this rock to make an adorable snowman. I'm going to start out by using a chalk pencil to line out the head and the belly of the snowman just on the right side. Then I'm going to take some Liquitex gesso and base coat the snowman and this just helps because this is a very smooth stone so it helps give it some grip and also makes it that we don't have to do 12 coats of white paint over the top of this. Next I'm going to take some metallic pearl white paint and again go over the snowman just so he has a little bit of a different color, kind of that sparkly snow look. If you use a metallic paint, it might take a couple of coats to make sure that you have solid coverage and to make sure that there's no lines in the metallic paint. Next, I'm going to come back to that chalk pencil and line out the carrot for the snowman's nose and then base coat that with some Liquitex gesso before I come back with the orange paint. Orange paint is notorious for not giving the greatest coverage. So I wanted to make sure that it had a solid base coat before I came back with this orange for the carrot. While the nose is drying, I'm gonna take a PC1MR Posca paint pen and do some hand lettering. So I'm gonna write, let it snow on this rock. I'm gonna do let it in a print and then snow in a script. And then I'm gonna thicken the letters on snow anywhere that the pen was in a downstroke. Now I'm going to add a little bit of detail to the carrot with my Sakura Pigma brush pen. I'm just gonna outline it and add some lines to give the definition that exists on a real carrot, kind of those lines that you see up and down the whole vegetable. Now to add a little bit of additional sparkle to the snowman, because snow is sparkly, I'm going to take some extreme hologram glitter paint and just add it over the top of that metallic pearl paint. I'm also going to take a nail dotting tool and add it to the word snow so that there's a little bit of extra sparkle in the lettering. this nail dotting tool and some black paint to add the eyes and the smile onto the snowman. Then I'm going to take that same dotting tool and add dots of white paint on the other side of the rock so it looks like it's snowing around our lettering. And the snow is not going to get away without a dot of hologram glitter paint on top of the white just for that extra snowy sparkle. Now I'm gonna circle back around to that Sakura Pigma brush pen and just outline the entire snowman and give a little bit more shape to his head. As you can see, this design is really easy. You can use the shape of the rock or you could round out the snowman on the left side as well if you wanted to. I also like this design because it can extend beyond just the Christmas season. It can go into January and February in the snowy months. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and watch the next video in this series. As always, thank you so much for being here and I'll see you next time. Take care. <music>